before we start the video, I just wanted to say that this is very old footage. I filmed this in December on a whim and then promptly forgot about it, but my Instagram followers seem to want to have it posted anyway, so here we go. Enjoy the video. Hi guys! Today I'm going to be dressing all of my dolls. They've been long overdue for it. And normally I just do this, I sit in my room, I listen to music, and I just get them all out of the way. But I saw a video by Alice in Dollland where she was dressing her dolls and just doing like a little get to know me. So I'm going to do that today. I asked Instagram to ask me some questions, and I'm just going to be dressing my dolls and answering and chatting with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So we're going to start off with Cadence. So, the first question asked was, how many dolls do you have? Oh, how fitting. I have 20, but I like to joke that I have 19 and a half, because um, Kit, I, I swapped her with Bella, but Bella's eyes broke on the way out, so Kit is now eyeless in a drawer. Yeah, I do need to get her eyes eventually, and that will happen, but right now I only have 19 usable dolls and one half doll. <laughs> So the next question is, how did you discover AGTube? Okay, I used to say that I discovered it in 2020 when I watched Mixie Pixie 7 videos for the first time. And after that, I did go and watch like the entirety of AGTube history. <laughs> um, I watched like every Basil Mentos video, every Mixie Pixie 7 video, all the series, everything I could find. But now that I'm thinking about it, back like like three or four years ago, my friends and I wanted to make an American Girl doll movie. We had like a whole script. I still have it. So clearly one of us knew about AGTube. I don't know who it was. And so like, I guess I was always sort of aware that it existed. I just didn't realize it until I started watching it and joining AGTube. So the next question is, how did you come up with the Wild series? I, I assumed there would be some wild questions in here, uh, since I'm starting season two in s the spring, and I've been talking about it on Instagram. I I did really want to make a series, and I had been thinking about it for like a while, but I never had a good idea. And then um, around like September of last year, my music genre shifted over to like folk music. And I was also um, taking lots, lots of hikes again, and it just sort of came to me while I was like holding Sawyer in my room, and I was just like, huh. And then it just sort of came and it evolved into what it is today. Um, so there was a lot of sources of inspiration. Here's her outfit. Um, I'll do their hair later. It just came to me. I don't have a good explanation. Uh, let's dress Yvette next, I guess. She's reaching for the closest doll. Um, what made you get into AG? Okay, uh, so I got my first doll, Elizabeth, for Christmas. So I guess, I guess I've just like always liked AG. It's always just been there. I don't remember a time when I didn't have an American Girl doll, which is really weird. <laughs> Next question. Okay. What's your favorite Etsy shop? I've never actually bought from Etsy. I'm ashamed to admit. Um, but some of my favorite et Etsy shops to look at for like inspiration or just to appreciate their talent. Um, probably like Fellowship of the Dolls, Stitching Dolls, um, Lavender Threads. Hippie Dippy Doll Co. All of those people, like, I don't know. <laughs> Who is one doll you never thought you'd get? Hmm. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, probably Melody, actually. I don't even know what I thought of her. I just did not like her, I guess. And I just fell in love with her and her entire collection, like, last winter. <laughs> I guess you could say Sage, because I like really, really wanted her, but I never thought I'd have the chance to buy her. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> How do you feel about corn? <laughs> Who wrote that? Okay. Inner Star Studio 13. Lizzie, why? 
it has the juice. <laughs> I don't even know, like, how do you guys come up with this stuff? I'm never gonna be nearly as funny as these people. Okay. What is the best shade of green? This one I have an opinion for, even though it's probably, like, not even supposed to be a question you're considering answering. So my my favorite shade of green is like the a very light green. My walls are actually light green, although they look blue right now. Or like the darkest green you can think of. Like evergreen green color. Are Gavin and Sawyer secretly the creators of the wilds? <gasps> okay, you guys caught me. Yeah. They do. I, I have nothing to do with it at all. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry, my secret's out. Yeah, my dolls, they actually come to life when they want to. Um, they don't want to right now. Um, but yeah, they, they created the whole wilds. When, when we go out and film, I just operate the camera because they're too short to reach it. But yeah, they do all of the work. They created it themselves. They're very talented dolls. <laughs> Lucy, what was happening when you wrote these to me? Goodness sakes. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need the Wilds lore. Can we just get some separate lore videos as a part of the series, please? Also, how have Sawyer, Sawyer and Gavin been preparing for the new season? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love the Wilds questions. So, I recently, for some context, I posted, like, yesterday, yesterday when I filmed this, um, that, like, I have a ton of Wilds lore, and I do, because when I'm thinking about the plot, I, I just start thinking up, like, oh, history of the wild stuff, and, like, who owned the cabin before Fox, and all of this stuff, and there's just so much of it. I could talk about it for hours, you know, and I probably will if I was given the opportunity. So since people keep asking for videos, I think this is my third request, um, I definitely will make a video. I probably won't make it until the end of this series, but yeah, I have too much lore to keep it to myself, you guys. Here's Evie's outfit. I'm not sure I love the tights, but I don't have any other options. <laughs> I guess I'll dress Rebecca. What, what is your favorite doll to photograph? Eden. <laughs> If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that Eden gets five posts for every one post of any other doll. And that's because she's so cute in everything and everywhere. Alright. How do you come up with your doll's personalities? Um, sometimes it starts off with, like, um, a personality trait or a hobby. Just one thing. And then I try to build off of that. I try to make up, like, a history of where they've been, what they've done. Um, and a lot of their personalities reflect people I've known or myself a lot of the time. Um, because it's always easier to base a character off of a person you've met. Um, so yeah, they all come usually in the same way. Okay, next question. While well, I struggle. Favorite PC outfits? <laughs> there are so many! And, uh, yeah, I could talk about in depth of how many love, but... The cargo outfit. I love that outfit so much, okay? You guys don't understand. That outfit is the greatest thing on the entire planet. I only have the hoodie from it, but I do intend to get the rest of it eventually. Next. Okay, favorite video you have created? Ooh, I love this question. I've always wanted to be asked this question. Probably either the age or two past the phone video. That was so much fun, okay? I never thought I'd be able to do something that big and that interesting for the community. I'm so glad that I got, I don't like these boots with this. And I'm really glad that I got to because um, I just think it was a really good way to, you know, get involved with the AGTube community and also, um, it was just so much fun to talk to all of these AG tubers who I would either admired or um, talked to before and just get to get to know them a little bit and like it was just such a cool video. I've gotten so many uh, nice comments from it and I just I, it was a great video all together. But other than that the favorite video like that was just me making it probably last summer. That was a really good video and it was really fun to film. 
because I got to go to so many little locations. It was just, it was just really fun. That video was great. Rebecca's investigation. I want to recreate that now that I'm better at stop motion. I think it's hilarious. It's one of the oldest videos that I can still watch without cringing. Okay, so those are all my questions. Um, I only ended up dressing three dolls. <laughs> I, but it was really fun to talk to you guys. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you had fun. So I hope you have a lovely day or night or whatever time you're watching this. And I will see you next time.